In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use backtesting.py in Python in order to find winning strategies. Let's go ahead and first, what, why should I backtest trading strategies before I run them live? Let's just ask just in case we're not aware. And then backtesting.py is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, um, backtesting frameworks for Python. And my name is Moondev. I, I'm a fully algorithmic trader. I believe code is the great equalizer. So I share all of my code every single day. Everything I'm building every single day, I share it here on YouTube because I truly believe that code can change lives. It's changed mine. So I'm just trying to share everything I do because it's not going to hurt me. It's only going to help. So backtesting trading strategies is a crucial step before deploying them in a live environment. Here's why validation of ideas. Backtesting allows you to test if your trading strategy works as intended. It offers an opportunity to understand how, strat how your strategy would have performed historically, which can be a useful, though not foolproof, proxy to how it might perform in the future. That's a very important point. Just because a pack test does well doesn't mean it's going to work in the future. Risk management. You can assess various risk metrics, okay? Performance metrics. You can, uh, apart from just the total return, backtesting provides various metrics like sharp ratio, ratio, Calmar ratio, sort, Sortino ratio, and so on. Overfitting identification, parameter robustness, improvement and iteration understand limitations you get the point we got to back test everything dog so we're going to do that i'm going to back test some things today uh let's just start coding and all of this code i'll put inside in the boot camp let's go ahead and make a new file nine five nine five back test bt and then we'll call this uh green bar dot py and let's just back test this real quick let's say import the strategy I am backtesting is kind of like a God candle strategy where we're waiting for a big bar pandas as PD. Let's import numpy as NP. Let's import TA lib. Let's say from backtesting import backtest and strategy from backtesting dot test no actually don't need that let's go ahead and switch our interpreter here because i think we need to let's go say youtube let's say uh t flow i believe works for ta lib oh my goodness yeah there it is okay so let's say class um strat and we'll pass in the strategy and we're going to do a bunch of these back tests here. So I just want to show you how to use backtesting.py. This is my favorite library right now, at least RSI range equals 40 to 60. Take profit PCT equals 0 0.05 def init self so we have to init everything always self dot rsi all our uh main um indicators we want to init ta lib dot rsi self dot data dot close self dot rsi period and we'll go over all this code at the end in more detail I just want to get it all out here RSI actual will make this equals self dot RSI negative one and then price actual equals self dot data dot close negative one and if self dot position dot is long if actual price or price actual 
self dot data dot open minus one is greater or equal to self dot take profit percentage then we'll self dot position dot close okay perfect and then if not self dot position and self dot rsi range zero is smaller than rsi actual then equals self dot rsi range one and we'll say self dot buy okay that's the main part of the back test we want to do so this is how you use backtesting.py. You always got to init things and then the next statement runs on each bar. Um, I'm going to use a lot of examples here in this, this training so you can just see it over and over again. Let's go ahead and grab our data. So I have back tests. Let's just grab this data here. And I kind of like grabbing just random data. And I, this, I know it's like solid data because it's my data. Um, but I kind of like gra grabbing random time frames like this. So let's just delete this part. So if I implement, implemented it, we'll call this strat commission 0 0.003. Let's do that to uh, apply for some slippage as well. Well, you know what? I actually want it to be bigger. Six. Okay. Perfect. And that's how you back test it. Boom. Doesn't look like it worked though. So, what does this error say? Data index is not date time. It's missing parameter time period. Maybe I missed a step. I don't see what I'm missing here. I'm gonna throw this in the chat GPT real quick, but I've got a bunch of other back tests I wanna run through. So I just wanted to say, show you the setup. I get this error and below is my code. The issue you're facing is quite clear from the error message. Strat is missing time period. Strategy should define parameters as class variables before they can be optimized or run with. Oh, that's my bad, my bad. I missed this part. Time period, range. We're actually not gonna optimize on this one. We're just gonna take this away so you can optimize with backtrader or backtesting.py oops i used to use backtrader sorry backtrader i loved you for a while i did i did i promise we'll go ahead and print stats equals equals bt dot run all right so that's gonna look good hopefully Okay, perfect. There it goes. See how it did? Didn't do well. Unfortunately, max drawdown was 86%. That's too high. So at least you can see the outcome of why I like backtesting.py. Because it gives you all of this data plus all of these, all this information here. So the end percent pretty much blew up don't want to trade this wait 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 no 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 no. i'm sorry what is this start end the oh these are just days it's not giving me dates the duration was thirty thousand. i don't know actually this must be 15 minute bars or something uh, these are one hour bars from 2020 
Okay, so it's 30,000 bars. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's about three years times 24 bars per year. Exposure time was 99%. That's a little high, in my opinion. The return was solid, but the buy and hold was better. Drawdown, 86%. It's actually fine, but I mean, that's too high of a drawdown, obviously. I would like to miss this whole gap right here. That would be ideal. So we'll move on to the next back test. Uh, you know, I wanted to show you how to get it set up and then we're just going to find something that works better than that one. So let's go on to, I want to figure out where I was in this process though. So in August, we tested the volume spike. Okay. What else did we test in August? The EMA Bollinger, we already tested that. The RVI Stochastic, we tested that. Let's go look at these just so you can have access to them. I just want to make sure you get as much value out of every single video. I appreciate the likes. You can see this is the e, uh, Buller, Bollinger Band EMA test here. And there's all the code so you can screenshot it. I'm going to zoom back in now though so I can see it because I'm blind as a bat. Let's run this one see how it does. So it's optimizing. This is a cool feature of backtesting.py. Okay, so the exposure time was a little less. Return was 844, which is better. Drawdown was minus 65. Um, and then the chart looks like this. So a lot more trades, as you can see. I like this strategy better, though. And why? Because max drawdown was much smaller. I think I should do this, dog. Duh, put this at the top of each strategy. One, two, three, boom, 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 boom. EMA plus Bollinger band back test. Did I already put this in the boot camp? Because if I didn't, I'm gonna put it in there right now because it's not a bad strategy. You know, buy and hold is better for sure but not that much better and you have less exposure time. So that's, in my opinion, a better strategy than buying and holding. So I'm gonna make sure that's in the boot camp so you have access to it. Let's go ahead and see if I already put it in there though. Bollinger band. Doesn't look like it, so. Let's see just real quick. Bollinger band EMA back test. No, it doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna add it. Bollinger EMA back test. And we'll say same thing pretty much. Back test bull EMA dot PY. And just paste it in there so you have access to it. You can see the commission though. I need to up my condition commission quite a bit. Well, it, the commission is not that high. It just depends where you're trading. So you'll have to adjust this. I'm going to put it at 0 0.006 for now. I'm going to run this again. Well, let's run. Let's just check out the next one because we got we got a lot of back tests to build here today. Uh, let's go ahead and see the RVI. Let's just run this and see if it's any good. If it's good, I'll uh, put it in the boot camp. Exposure time was 99%, so it didn't really trade. Nah. But the return, the return was twice as good as buy, buy and hold. Drawdown was 81. Win rate, 93. Best trade. This is actually a good strat. I mean, it doesn't trade much, but it's a chill strat. Chill strategy. 
That's for sure. It's a chill strategy. Super chill. Only 15 trades. I mean, better, twice as good as buy and hold. RVI, RVI, stochastics, back test. But do I have a commission on here? Because my commission is looking whack. I mean, I trade with no commissions, but does everybody? Probably not. So return is still pretty good. It's still really good. It's double the return of a another one. Um, hold buy and hold in. So I'm gonna put this in here as the in the boot camp. So you just have access to everything. So let's scroll down back to the boot camp and we'll call this back test. Huh. Do we have it? I don't think we have this one either. RVI stochastics. Yeah, I don't see it in here. So let's let's put it in there. RVI stochastic back test. So you'll have access to this one as well. I'm just trying to give you as much value as possible. So you have access to all of it. And I'll show you here on this video to RVI Stoke back test dot PY. We'll just throw it in there. Some good value in there. Uh, let's zoom out here. Not everybody watches the videos, but here you go. There's the code. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. I just want to make sure you have as much value as possible out of all these videos. Let's go ahead and now that we've done a few of those or a couple of those, let's go ahead and move on to our next one and see here which one are we going to do now. So we've done the RVI, we've done the Bollinger. RVI, Bollinger, we've done the volume spike. I want to do the double bottom EMA trading strategy. So let's do that here. Let's do uh, 9.5, 9 2x five, bottom BT. Okay, let's name it something good here. This is a back test, back test um, of double bottom EMA back test. And now let's just write it out so you can really understand how to use this strategy or how to how to back test with backtesting.py. So we'll import the same things. Back testing import. Okay. And then we'll import TA lib. And then we'll import pandas as pd and we'll say class double bottom strategy and we'll pass in backtesting.strategy so this is a little different i didn't ex i'm extending from it right now i didn't import it above we need to define params And after we define our params, we can keep moving forward. So params equals EMA length one, five, and then EMA length two, eight, stop loss ratio equals 0 0.02 so that's two percent 
and then take profit ratio I equals 0 0.04 and then that's good for that now we need to init remember you got to init every time self dot ema one one equals self dot i and then we'll say ta lib so you got to install ta lib i found it doesn't work on older versions of python but you'll figure that out and if you don't i'm here for you just shoot me a message in the chat on discord params ema length ema length one and then we're gonna pretty much copy it over and then we'll put two here change this to two as well i do that sometimes where i forget to reset that okay now we need to define the training logic define logic def next self three day lowest lowest equals min of self dot data dot low in the last three days and then if self dot data dot close negative one is bigger than self dot ema one negative one and then we say if self this is the breakout condition by the way let's go ahead and say break out condition self dot data dot close negative one and then self self dot ema one equals negative one and then we say if self well this sorry I'll I'll put some more notes in here ema crossover condition excuse me if self dot data dot close negative one under the three day lowest or self dot data dot close of zero three day lowest then we'll say entry price equals self dot data dot close negative one and stop loss equals entry price times 0 0.95 and take profit equals entry price times 7% and then self dot buy SL equals stop loss TP equals take profit and then we'll put in the data so pretty chill right so let's grab all this and then I think we just gonna run it so copy this over put it in the strategy put this uh, we actually do back testing dot strategy I hope you understand the difference there up here I did not import everything the strategy part but on this other one I did you can see from backtesting import backtesting strategy this time I just import all of backtesting so I have to backtest in that strategy I hope that makes sense if it doesn't just make uh, make sure to ask me below let's go ahead and run it and see how it does okay doesn't look like it did. Oh, it 730 trades actually. Nice. It's a lot of trades. The return is less than buying and holding though. So, and the drawdown isn't like phenomenal. If, if the return was less than buy and hold, but the drawdown was way better then obviously, well not obviously, but I would, I would expect it or not expect it, but I would be interested in it. I'd be more interested in it. I'm gonna put this co this uh, this up there. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in the bootcamp later. Um, let's 
go ahead and just put this and I'll put it on a note sheet. This will be called, you'll see it in the bootcamp here in the coming time. Maybe by the time you watch this video, but if not, it'll be there soon. Let's go ahead and move on to another back test because that one looks to be done. So let's go ahead and open it up. Not, I wasn't super impressed with that one. So I'm just going to move on to the next one, but this is part of the game. So let's go ahead and check out this one. Double seven trading. So I call this one. All right. So let's call it nine five dub seven dot py i need to make sure i know it's a back test so double seven trading strat and let's just um Bring this in here, import back testing, import pandas as PD, import TA lib from back testing. So you can see I'm importing back tests. So I'm going back and forth because I think it's good to just fully understand how this works from back testing dot lib import crossover. So they have some cool functions in there too. We make the class moving average strat. It's pretty much just a moving average strategy, but we'll pass in the strategy here. And then we'll say time period equals seven SMA period equals 200 def init self and then self dot SMA 200 equals self dot i and ta lib dot sma and self dot data dot close and then time period equals self dot sma period we'll say self dot lowest low equals self dot i ta lib dot min and self dot data dot data dot low and time period equals seven and self dot highest high equals self dot i and ta lib dot max self dot data dot high time period equals seven and then we'll go on to the next statement. So this is what happens on each bar. Self. If self dot data dot close equals negative one bigger than self dot SMA 200 negative one or self dot data dot close of negative one equals self dot lowest low negative one self dot by size equals 10 SL equals self self dot data dot close negative one times 0 0.95 TP equals self dot data dot close negative one multiplied by 1.2 okay I live self dot data dot close negative one is less than self dot highest high negative one then self dot cell and then we'll just pass in the data so let's grab that data again I think I'm gonna do one more after this. So 
just want to really make sure you get as much value as possible. I believe code is a great equalizer. And if I can share this information, then hopefully you'll be able to build some cool stuff. So let's just run this. Oopsies. Oopsies. Okay, okay. We need to mix this up a little bit. We need to change a couple things. It's high, it's wrong. Okay. I actually want to optimize this one. So I'm going to optimize this one. I say the results here. I added in this BT optimized equity final time 510 estimate period 1030 20. Okay. And then we'll print results and then we'll plot. Hopefully this one works. There we go. It's optimizing. So it's cool because it optimizes for the best variable. Return percentage, it blew up. I don't know how though. How do you blow up an account with no leverage? All right, so it's a bad strategy. I'm not even gonna put this one in the bootcamp. We're just gonna move on. Bye, Felicia. Bad strat. Bad strat, move on. Let's make sure that I got all the code right though. Cause I don't even know how you, <laughs> you can blow up. How you can blow up with a uh, no leverage, but looks fine to me. Okay. Part of the game. Part of the game. Let's try out this Larry Connor strat. So nine five, Larry Connor. Dot py. So. This is called Larry Connor. Connor. Okay, let's go ahead and import back testing. I swear I'm going opposite every time. From back testing, import strategy, back test. Import TA lib import ta lib import pandas as pd class equals my strategy pass in strategy say time period equals seven def init self Self dot SMA twenty equals self dot I and TA lib dot SMA self dot data dot close time period equals two hundred. So this calculates the two hundred SMA pretty much. Then we'll say self dot lowest seven self dot I and TA lib dot min self dot data dot low time period equals self dot time period and self dot high seven equals self dot i ta lib dot max comma self dot data dot high dot high and then time period equals self dot time period period and then we'll say self dot stop loss equals 0 0.1 okay and def next equals self okay and we'll say if self dot data dot close data dot close negative one over self dot SMA 200 negative one and self dot data dot close negative one is under self dot lowest lowest seven 
negative one. Okay, perfect. So we'll say self dot by here. So this is actually one of the strategies that we put inside the bootcamp for you. Every single day we launch new strategies. It's actually in the Discord. We have quants that pretty much research all day long. Self dot high seven and self dot cell. Okay. And we'll say death, stop, loss, guard. Self dot sorry, it's not no no dot, no dot. Self. Self dot cell. SL equals self dot data dot close negative one multiplied by one minus self dot stop loss and then we want to load the data we're not going to optimize this one so i'm just going to grab this old data here call it my strategy and let's run this B. Uh oh. I got error. Probably you saw it earlier, probably. Min, SMA, max, TLF. Maybe I should look at the number of the line. I do that all the time, actually. So, line 14. I wonder what I messed up here. Time period. Did you see that? This line is 19. I was going fast, I guess, on this one. Estimate 200? Nah, I actually meant estimate 20. I meant 200. Thank you. There we go. Not many trades, not many trades. Three trades. Return percentage is negative 100. How does that even happen, dog? How do you even, is it shorting maybe? Yeah, it's shorting. That's how you, that's how you blow up. No bueno. Cool. So I'm not going to put that one in boot camp either. Sorry, I didn't even show the equity curve. This is it. Blew up right here. Got in a short right there. Blew up. Peace. Okay, well, I think that's pretty solid for today. If you have any questions about backtesting.py, please do let me know. I think we found two good strategies, three bad, or two good strategies, two bad strategies, and maybe one mediocre. I'll put those all in the boot camp. Um, well, the good ones at least. And uh, let's see what's going on over here in L market. Let's see the QQQs. Looks like we're down for the day. It's 8.30. So in about one hour, this will open. I hope you have just the best day ever. Um, if you want to learn this stuff from me, I teach it all inside my boot camp step by step. And if you're still here, I know you're serious. So let's get it, man. I'll show you everything I know. And I'll keep adding more and more to it. And... Um, if I hit refresh on this page, you'll see we have monthly events too. See this new bonus live event with Moondev every single month where he will go over cutting edge material and answer questions you have so you succeed. So that's new and um, I don't know how long it will be. So make sure to get in now because I might close this at some point because this is I'm literally giving away all of my code. You get all of my code always. I hope you have an amazing day. I appreciate you. Check out my Twitter. And I'm going to have a uh, drink of coffee and then get right back to it.